Hello guys, welcome to the third tutorial of this playlist of static timing analysis. So I'm changing this to three. And in the last two tutorials, if you see, uh, we have covered the following five topics like uh, timing analysis, why it is important and what is meant by static timing analysis, difference between static and dynamic timing analysis, and then what is setup time, why setup time is important and how it can be visualized. So if you guys haven't watched those two, please go and watch them so that you'll uh, get some two to three interview questions that we have discussed Okay, in, the, in those two tutorials. So in this, uh, we'll be continuing with the remaining uh, topics that we left in the setup time analysis, that is um, setup time mathematical equation uh, so we will derive the mathematical equation of how to get the setup time and then we will solve one very simple question so that you won't get confused in the beginning itself so we'll solve one very simple question followed by that we will go to the uh, we will increase the standard of the difficulty of the question so going forward going ahead so setup time equation okay setup time equation so this we are going to derive okay so now to get this, let us take one simple circuit where you have two flip flops D Q clock and a similar flip flop you have one more that is D Q and clock. Okay, so let's take a possibility that there is some combo logic here which has a combo delay of TC one and this is the input that is coming to the flip flop and let's say there is a clock path. Okay, this is a clock path clock. This is the clock source. Let's say there is no delay in, delay in this clock path. Now, in a flip flop, when the clock when the clock edge occurs, it will take some time for the data to propagate from the input to the output. Again, if you go into the transmission level of diagram, uh, if you analyze in a similar way, when the clock comes, how the data is coming from the uh, input to the output, that path you can analyze, and then you will get there is some delay, which is called as T clock to Q delay. And this is combo logic delay TC1. And for time being, let us assume the delay of this wire is zero, okay? Just for time being. And one more important point to note here is whatever the delay in this entire path, we can represent just as TC1 for time being because zero, zero. But if some more delay adds, still we can call this as a combo delay between the output of flip flop one to input of flip flop two, okay? And this is the clock okay then let us assume the clock period is tclk this is just an equation derival okay now from this two things we can say when the clock edge comes here then the input data will be captured or this flip flop will absorb that and it will try to propagate to the output so when the clock edge comes it takes t clock to q plus t combo delay to reach from this point to this point this path okay so this we called as arrival time. The data that is being present here is coming to the next flop in this time. That is arrival time. What is arrival time here? T clock to Q delay plus T combo delay TC1. So this is the arrival time. Okay. This is the arrival time. And then what is the required time for us? So if you see the definition of the setup time, data, data should be if the let me complete this clock pulse so within this clock period before certain amount of time before the clock edge the data should become stable this we called a setup time right so the arrival time is the data should come before this setup time so in the entire clock period if you remove the setup time that is what the required time where the data should come within that window okay so if you say the required time means this is the time that that is required okay t clock minus t setup time t setup time so this is the required time and this is the arrival time of the data this is the time the data is taking so if you see always the arrival time should be less than this means the data should arrive within this window within this window let me highlight this okay within this window mm, let us change the color okay here if you mark as yellow this is the time Mm, I don't know why it is not marking. Okay, so or it is marking, but the color is not visible. So data should come between this time. Okay, in this time period, some t. Okay, so the, the here the point is the required time should be always greater than or equal to the arrival time. So this is a very important statement. Okay. 
so the required time should be always greater than or equal to the allied it it's okay if it is equal also okay so now if you put down the equations that we have derived the required time is t c l k minus t setup should be always greater than or equal to t clock to q plus t combo delay okay now if you see the setup time if you send that side then t setup time should be always less than or equal to t clock minus of t clock to q plus t combo delay which this we call as arrival time so this is the mathematical equation of the setup time which totally makes sense okay the setup time now if i draw the clock pulse again this is a clock pulse right this is the entire tclk and let's say it is taking some clock to q delay plus some combo delay so this much time it will take now the setup time of your logic can be this much big it can be this much big but here there is one catchy okay for a flip flop for a flip flop the setup time is fixed and for a design that you are doing the clock period will be fixed because you uh, the first lecture itself first tutorial itself i have said right uh, you will start the design itself with a for a certain frequency which means the clock period of the cycle or the clock is fixed already okay and then t clock to q delay is also kind of fixed okay now all you can do play with is this combo delay which means that here this combo delay if it is less then very well you are well advanced than the setup time well ahead if the combo delay is more and it is going inside inside then it's a problem so all you have control is this on this combo logic delay now in the upcoming tutorials we will see what if the combo logic is too much big okay what if it is too much high then how you will uh, avoid the setup violations how you will control that and all we will see but this is the setup time equation which pretty much makes sense okay but in general this is fixed okay only this you can play now there is one possible entry question that can be asked is which is more critical a setup time or whole time which is more critical so this we gonna answer soon because we have covered only setup time right let me complete the whole time analysis also then it would be more appropriate to answer this question uh, but one way to see is in the equation if you see the setup time equation has a dependency on the clock period so this is one point that you should remember which will be helpful at this uh, question that we gonna ask okay that we gonna solve in the um, upcoming tutorial so it the setup time equation is depending on the clock period or the clock uh, cycle frequency of a design okay so with this knowledge let's let us solve one simple question okay one simple question let's say there is one flip flop d q clock and another flip flop d q clock and the combo delay is um let's take it as 10 nanoseconds and the clock to q delay as some 3 nanoseconds let's say clock is coming without any delay okay example just a basic example so that you guys will understand zero ns okay now this is the clock clock path from the clock source this is the clock source and it is coming directly let's assuming zero delay and the setup time of it is some 4 nanoseconds and the clock period of the design is let's say 20 nanoseconds now just tell me whether there will be a setup violation or not in the circuit okay so before solving this question example okay this is one very simple example question so before solving this question here itself let me tell you from the required time and arrival time equation there is one relation called that is called as slack okay what we call slack is um slack that is the term we used okay the required time minus the arrival time is called as slack means if the slack is positive so your data is coming much faster than the required time it has no violation it has no violation and if the slack is negative it means your required time 
is some 10 nanoseconds but your data is arriving after that like some 12 13 nanoseconds means you are getting the data much late or in the setup window you can call so definitely you will have some violation so this is if you remember this or if you understand this it is very simple to solve these kind of very simple questions okay now if you analyze here clearly what it says is okay I, i'll use green pen here since it is zero nanoseconds the arrival time here is or the time that the data is taking to reach this particular point is three nanoseconds plus 10 nanoseconds which means 13 nanoseconds and in the other way the required time is your clock period that is 20 nanoseconds this is 20 nanoseconds okay this is 20 nanoseconds minus the setup time which is 4 nanoseconds which is 16 nanoseconds means let me put that in a diagrammatic way so that it will be very easy to understand and visualize okay if this is the clock period this is 20 nanoseconds and the setup time is given as 4 nanoseconds means for your data the leftover window is 20 minus 4 16 nanoseconds 20 minus 4 is 16 nanoseconds but how much your data is taking it is taking a clock to queue delay of 3 nanoseconds plus some 10 nanoseconds which is altogether 13 nanoseconds see how clear it is now means your data is coming much before or much ahead than the setup time this much window is still pending for you okay that it can be still more it can delay to come till here till this point it is safe to come which means that you have no setup violation setup violation diagrammatic way it is very clear now here if you see the slack t required time minus t arrival time that is the slack right so here required time is 16 nanoseconds minus arrival time is 30 nano 13 nanoseconds so it is 3 nanoseconds and it is positive which means no violation that is what see more or less all will converge at the same point of this analysis okay now now what i'm going to say is this is a very simple question that one can get very simple question okay if once you understand this basic question let me increase the complexity of it okay let me take pink color and i will increase the complexity see what if they give min and max delay means this combo logic can take a minimum of some 8 nanoseconds and let's say maximum of 10 nanoseconds they can ask like that similarly every delay they can give min delay and max delay then the analysis will be slightly different okay so whether you should take a max delay or min delay or in which path in data path what delay to take in clock path what delay to take will matters and it changes okay and then they can even ask or give delay here in this clock path and here they can have some delay so in the next tutorial what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a complex example it will take more time for me to explain in detail so i'm not i'm not trying to cover that in this tutorial because we already exceeded limit so in the next tutorial i'm going to take one very good example which if you can understand that example then any question in the static timing analysis for setup analysis you can solve which also has some skew concepts in it added so that you will solve any static timing analysis setup analysis question okay so please stay tuned for the next video and that's gonna be a rock solid question which i'm going to take from some um, a website which i'm going to tell you also so in that video we are going to see in detail about the setup timing analysis hope you guys learned something new please go through this video and try to understand how we derived the equation and whether the term that is used for that equation makes sense or not and the example that you solved are you able to correlate with the clock cycle period and all all these you try to do on your own again on the paper before coming to the next tutorial so that's all for this video see you guys soon in the next tutorial